the passenger welcome to Paris Shard de Go when the local time is 1555 Bienvenue à Paris. We just got off of our Uber. We're in this city now, kind of. We're like a bit of a walk away from the Eiffel Tower, but we took an Uber to this cafe. And we woke up extremely late today, like at 10, because we had this whole issue with our Airbnb last night, so we had to stay in a hotel. Anyways, we were up until like 3 a.m., so it was like a really bad situation, but... Anyways, we made it. We're in the city and we're just trying to find like a place that has like um, like croissants and like crepes because we want to get like a good um, French breakfast. But we just haven't been able to find a place that has that. So we're just kind of like frolicking around the area and trying to find a place where we can get a crepe and a croissant because that's all we want in coffee. Good coffee. This city is so much bigger than we thought. Like I know it's like, I think it's like the biggest city in Europe but it's huge like i did not think that it would be this big it's actually insane and like we're looking at the menus and everything is like turned into lunch which is really sad my phone still thinks that i'm in italy i think like just everything is called a cafe here because even if it says cafe it doesn't mean breakfast like anywhere else you find a cafe it's like it's like pastries like coffee but here it's like cafe means everything because there's it says cafe on everything yeah it does so it's like i wait is cafe no restaurant is place to home so that doesn't make sense it's kind of windy i don't know if you guys can hear but we are trying to go to the loop but I think that the lineup will be really, really long. So, oh my god, if that's it, that's like insane. There's like a huge line of people over there. Because you have to like pay to get in and everything. But we're gonna try. I mean, we'll see how long it is. See, and I didn't know that there'd be a lineup. I don't know why I thought you just like walk in and see and then that's it. Like, we're not sure if this is the lineup here. Like, it's so many people. It's actually insane. But we're just gonna try to figure out like where we get the tickets or if we need to buy them like on our phones or something but like look at that lineup over there like that is it just like goes around and around so we don't know what we're gonna do okay so we figured out the lineup and we couldn't get tickets online just because it was like a cutoff or something but we are now in like the buy your tickets inside line so it's all actually not as bad as we thought it's moving pretty quick because we were unsure if it was going to be a lineup that like you never get in because it you just have to wait a million years but it's moving really fast so we have hope but anyways no that's the update i'll let you guys know when we're in there We just bought the tickets at this little ticket booth, so it wasn't actually that bad. We waited in line oh, for like how long did we wait in line? Like 40 minutes. We didn't Give actually like count, but it was about 40 minutes, so okay. it looked longer than it Head was. So if you come here, don't be scared of the line unless like it's actually really long. But we got our tickets. We're gonna go in now. I don't know why. I thought that you came in here and you were just right like right away you go into the museum, but like you come into this huge building, you gotta buy tickets, blah blah blah. It's so big in here. We didn't know it was going to be like this big. I honestly thought I did no research before this, but I kind of thought that we would walk in and it would just be like a small museum. But like this is like a huge thing. I honestly had no idea. Like I knew of the roof, but I didn't know that it was like this big and like this many things in here. It's so beautiful and crazy. And we were going to come in because the line, but ended up being fun. So thank God we did. Because this is like, I feel like you can't come here and be near this and then go to Paris and say that you've never been. So.
So we are now heading to the Eiffel Tower. We decided to walk there instead of Ubering because it was only like a three kilometer, well, um, three kilometer, it's three kilometers from us. But the Uber said it was gonna take like 25 minutes to get there, which is probably because there's so much traffic. But yeah, so we decided to take a little scenic route in the park. They also have like water guys literally everywhere where they have like a huge thing of water and they're selling them for like a euro. So we've been picking up some water along the way because it's pretty hot today, which is nice, but walking is also a lot when you're really hot. So we just got some waters and stuff, which is really nice because they're they were literally selling them like at the Louvre too, like they're everywhere. But we really just want to like find something to eat as well because we are very hungry and we want to fill our bellies with some French food. We're just kind of walking in the direction of the Eiffel Tower. We don't really have a Google Maps open because we see it and we're walking to it. Happy Cafe. <gasps> Happy Cafe. Oh my God, that I can looks, go for another coffee that looks so like it would be good, baby. much. The coffee, I got an iced coffee at the cafe that we went to earlier and it tasted like cake batter. Mm. It was like so, it was good, but it wasn't like coffee. It was more like cafe. a milkshake or something. We just stopped in this bakery and I got a coffee macaroon. I'm so excited to eat this. Macaroons are my favorite. And then I got a creme brulee because we have to try that in Paris. And then Joe got this, whatever this is, not really sure. But it all looks so good. And we're sitting right in front of the Eiffel Tower and we're gonna eat because we found a little cute bench. And then we also got like this breaded hot dog. Reporting live from right in front of the Eiffel Tower or at behind, I guess we're behind it or in front of it. We're thinking of climbing the Eiffel Tower because apparently there's stairs where you can go up and like pay a bit of money and climb and there's an elevator. So it's like since we're here, we may as well do it. Even though my feet, like everybody's feet are killing them because me and Madison have like blisters from, like I've been from my Birkenstocks, Madison has it from her shoes because we've been just walking so much this past week and like, it's just been a lot for our feet. And tomorrow we're doing Disneyland Paris, so that's gonna be really rough on our feet, but hopefully my sneakers will make it a bit better just because my Birkenstocks, I thought that they were gonna be good to walk in. They actually are giving me blisters, so I don't know about that. But that's the only reason why I'm hesitant to climb the Eiffel Tower is just because my feet are killing me. And we've walked already so much today. But yeah, we're definitely gonna stay until it twinkles and take some photos. How do you feel? Those are the original. These are the original. They tricked us that they were going to give us water. No. There was none. Look at the original stairs to get to the top. Wait, where are they? What? Right here. Wait, that's your joke, right? Those red ones. That is crazy. Wait, why are they so small? Like, the steps are like that big. I don't want to go to the second. A review of inside the Eiffel Tower. It's. Like nothing special in here. And there's obviously a nice view. Okay, there's nothing like much to do here. It's just basically like you're looking out into the view. We 
were literally riding the Uber scooters here and it was so hectic. But we made it right on time. 